Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> guys, I just got something in the mail which is very, very exciting. At the same time, it's a little bit perplexing. I'm not really sure exactly where this fits in in terms of um, Thundercats news, but I have to say, it is quite the throwback for me and a lot of collectors who love the Thundercats toys from back in the day. Obviously, I'm talking about the new Super 7 email that just went out today for the Super 7 Thundercats Wave 6 figures. Now, uh, like I said, it's, it's a little bit interesting the way this came about, so um, let's take a deep dive and talk a little bit more about it. But just before we get started, if you guys enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys will enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. All right, guys, let's dive right in and take a look at these retro-style Thundercats. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. Let's have a look. This is my email box, and I was really excited to find out about Wave 6. But instead of what I was expecting, this actually showed up and kind of threw me for a loop. But honestly, it was one of those fun little things that I have to say I'm actually now kind of excited for it. Super 7 is now showcasing Wave 6 of the Ultimates line. And look at this, guys. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Guys, this is like a blast from the blast. This is actually based on the original designs from the toys from back in the 1980s. Holy crap, everybody. These guys look pretty much like they did uh, coming off of the LJN toy line. This is crazy. I, I really don't know what to say about this. This is just absolutely nuts. But let's take a deeper dive and find out more about these actual toys. This is crazy. It goes on to say, Thundercats Ultimates, Super 7's latest addition to the Thundercats Ultimates roster are inspired by the timeless toys you grew up with. These made-to-order, highly articulated 7-inch scale Ultimate figures of Lino, Chitara, Mumra the Everliving, and Munkian are upgraded versions of the original toys. <laughs> interesting how they said upgraded. That's, that's interesting. While still maintaining the vintage charm of the classic toy line. You don't need Sight Beyond Sight to see that these Thundercats Ultimates figures will be quality additions to any collection. They will be available until June 10th, expecting delivery spring of 2023. Now, this is interesting. Uh, not, not to get too sidetracked, but if you click on the shop Thundercats Ultimates... The page is not found yet, so I'm wondering if this email came out a little early. Uh, so guys, this might be an early preview as to what we're going to be seeing for Ultimates Wave 6. Alright guys, that being said, they have provided us with at least a few pictures, so let's take a deep dive and take a look at some of these awesome new releases from Super 7. Oh my gosh guys, take a look. It is the Lord of the Thundercats himself. Oh my gosh, there he is, Lino, Lord of the Thundercats. Now. If you guys own the LJN toy at any, at any time, you will recognize that this is actually the exact look and color scheme that he had for the LJN toy. I actually have the LJN toy, and, uh, the LJN toy right here, and you, as you can see, he looks pretty damn spot on. I really am quite impressed at the way he looks. The head sculpt is more or less the same. Obviously, they've updated it for 2022. The claw shield is that bright red, which is you know one single mold. Uh, this does actually save them some money when you think about it. No, no paint apps required. His skin is that, gosh, awful bright orange. It's crazy. The blues are, of course, you know, bright blue, cart like not cartoon accurate. They've even gone so far as to emulate the incorrect Thundercats symbol on the belt. What are you guys doing? <laughs> that in and of itself is, is interesting and wonderful attention to detail. That's actually the crazy. The Sword of Omens is also cast in that red plastic with silver highlights. I lost my Sword of Omens uh, quite a long time ago, so uh, it'll be interesting to be able to get that back uh, if I decide to pick up this toy. And those boots, those blue boots. Honestly, this really does tug at my heartstrings. I really have a very soft spot in my heart for this. Uh, he's looking incredible, honestly. Um, you know, basically because I, I already had this when I was a kid. This is absolutely amazing. All right, guys, let's take a look at the next figure in the line that's been announced. Oh, ho, 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 ho. talk about some of the heavy hitters. It is Mumra, the ever-living. Yes. I had this guy as a kid, but unfortunately, I think he went, uh, yeah, pretty much back to the Philippines when I was very, very young. He looks incredible here. Uh, definitely has that wonderful face sculpt that was in the original LJN toy. He's got that headdress that looks like it, it should actually come off if this is actually uh, you know, uh, very um, accurate to the original LJN toy. 
But everything about him looks so good. You know, the teal skin, the facial sculpt, which doesn't really look like it did in the show, but still very, very reminiscent of an awesome, awesome face sculpt. That wonderful sword, which, uh, you know, they, some people have already said it's, it was actually maybe a tease of something to come in the future. And you know what? They were bang on. I, th I, think, uh, I think it was um, uh, possibly uh, Mad, Hatter, Mad Hatter Reviews, something like that. But yeah, the entire thing looks right, uh, except for the feet. The feet are a little, are, you know, slightly um, updated for, for 2020. So yeah, this is looking so great, honestly. I'm, I'm really loving this. This is, again, just tugging at my heartstrings. Just just so wonderful. God, this is so crazy. I, I, I'm, just, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of at a loss for words, really. But let's take a look at the next figure in the line. Oh, so... Uh, Chitara did not come out in the first wave of the original LJN toy line, but it's great to see her here. She's got, whoa, she's got some sort of like, you know, really concentrating face, uh, you know, and she's looks like she's kind of feral right now, running as hard as she can. She's looking amazing. Uh, she's got that wonderful head sculpt. Um, yeah. Honestly, I I'm, I'm really I'm really digging this uh, this aesthetic. Now, this one I don't think is um as reminiscent uh, of the, the LJ and Toyland as the original because Chitara's figure, uh, you know, she had some some action features, but she was actually very, you know, lightly lightly sculpted. Uh, and this one, I think, has a little bit more detail based on, of course, the new buck that was uh, that was created specifically for Chitara. So, still wonderful to have her looking more or less like she did in the LJ line. Let's look at the last figure in the line. Holy crap, guys. Now, this is going to be one of my absolute favorites because I had Mookie as a kid. I loved his character design. His helmet came off. I don't know if this one will. It doesn't look like it. But I loved all those action features uh, for the character. Uh, he had that mace. And it was kind of funny because he never had a mace in the, in the series. Um, so, yeah, it was a lot of fun to see this, this character realized uh, as a Ultimates figure. You know, in 2022, uh, you know, looking very much like the way he did as, as a toy uh, from LJN back in the day. Now, obviously, he's still based on his buck that was uh, created for Munkian. He doesn't have the long arms. He doesn't have the hunch. But I guess you could just, you know, use the um, mid, 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 uh, mid, uh, the, sorry, the ab crunch to actually get that, that hunch over. But... Everything else looks correct. The um, the tassels that are all you know the the the, the pieces of cloth which uh, wrap around its legs, you know the um, the furry body. Uh, you know, but the face sculpt is really where it's at. The face sculpt is pretty much bang on to almost exactly what he looked like in the original LGN, LGN toy. I'm wondering if I actually had to ask uh, or or get some rights for that. I'm not really sure if that's the way because if you look at the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates, they really are in the style of LJN, and I'm not really, sorry, in, uh, in Playmates, they really are in the style of Playmates, and I'm not really sure that they had to get permission for that either. Still, this is awesome. Guys, I can't wait to see more of these reveals coming soon from the Ultimates line. Now, um, this is only what was on the email, uh, because it looks like they took down the page, because er earlier today, I was actually able to go on the page and uh, see some of the, the, the images that, uh, that were available. But right now, it's, it's saying it's a 404 page not found. So, yeah, something, uh, something did change earlier today. So, time will tell, guys. Uh, you know. But I'm really hoping to actually get more information about these figures uh, as, as it comes out. I believe they are still on the same price point, $55 each. And I think um, I, think I saw a review by, uh, by Matt Hatter, which said that, uh, that Mumra might actually still be on the $55 uh, price point. However, that actually might be the reason why they took down uh, the page, because maybe the prices were actually incorrect. Anyway, time will tell, and hopefully these will be up for pre-order very, very soon. Wow, guys, um, honestly, I'm sort of excited about this, truthfully. I've already collected pretty much every single one of the Thundercats Ultimates line. Now, this new line, which... Let's be honest, I'm not really sure it should be under the Ultimates. I think it actually should be its own separate line. I think that's, that, that's uh, you know, they should call it the Retro Line or something along those lines. Because seriously, they they honestly are supposed to resemble, you know, this version of Lion-O, right? So this is the original LJN lion and you know what? That's really cool. I really do appreciate and really do like the idea that they're trying their best to emulate this line uh, for this release. But... In a lot of ways, it's not really Ultimates. Um, I know it, it, it falls under the Ultimates branding, but 
I would really like it if they actually renamed it something like Thundercats Retro, because I think that's exactly what this is. is. And honestly, I think I, would, I think a lot of people would appreciate that that's what it was. Anyways, guys, having said that, what are your thoughts about this brand new Thundercats Ultimates Wave 6? And are you guys in on this? Do you love the LJN aesthetic? And is it really harkening back and tugging at your heartstrings for something which is really 100% based on the original toys? Guys, please leave the comments on the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Thundercats ho, everybody. Thundercats ho. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. RyRatCan33, Old IT Guy, Princess Kagali, John Joker, Michael Traverso, Christopher Herndon, Snell World, Thomas Meyer, Budrick Porter, and Joseph Michaels. Thank you for all your support, everybody. It really means a lot to me and really does help the channel to keep going.